to do a special on modulation and how to create rhythm with different kinds of modulation. And I made a patch that is once again just one note in my sequencer. And it sounds like this. <laughs> And I gotta say, I really like this one because it has that groove. I like that. Um, and what I did is, let's see, it's pretty, it's a, well, it's a bit complicated. But last week we've talked about uh, Mod Mixer in Zebra, where you can mix different types of um, modulation sources like LFOs and uh, envelopes and MSEGs. And you can switch between them and you can fade. So maybe it's advisable to check that one first because I'm not going to go can I say that? going to go <laughs> because I'm not going to go into a lot of depth um, about that one but I'll show you the the basics first we have um, oscillator 1 uh, mix panel set to quad so it's stacking 4 oscillators I detune it by um, well this is not really a detuning but this spreads the in quad mode, the detune knob spreads the uh, four oscillators apart uh, by an amount of four. And then in the effects, I have a phase transfer, crossfer, I don't know, and expander set to 78 and 66, doesn't really matter. Um, try to go and put your own effects. And reset is on, invert is on, phasing is on 44, and the sync is on on 12. So that is my basic oscillator, it sounds like sounds like that, not that exciting. Then I've put the envelope on loop, but you can't really hear that because I have to sustain all the way up, so I think that doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter, but we can mess with it later, so you might as well set it up um, to do that. Uh, fall rise all the way to the left, right click here and say loop decay and uh, put it all the way to the left as well. And then we can have a little bit of rhythm already. And we can um, change the slope of the envelopes with this uh, knob if we put it in V slope mode. And this is going to be slower. And this is a faster slope. So more plucky. Then I have um, filter 1, which is a formant filter, and I'm modulating uh, multiple things here. Um, I'm modulating the cutoff with the mod mixer with an amount of 88, but if we go to the mod matrix, you see that I also modulate the um, uh, resonance, which is not really the resonance in this case, but the formant. So it doesn't really say formant um, when you want to modulate it when you go to filter one it just says resonance but you kind of have to think okay resonance normally that's the second knob on the filter and now that's formant so therefore formant is resonance and I'm also modulating the gain here and this is the same deal if we open another filter you can see that here we have the drive or the gain in the last um, in the last knob so now for the formant filter that would be the foul so I'm modulating the gain here, but actually I'm modulating the vowel with LFO4. And LFO4 is DS1, it's at the gate, 1.8, user um, in steps mode. And then we have um, MSEG2, and this is the cool one, that is modulating the MSEG1 loop. So MSAG1 is providing the main rhythm and that is just uh, 16th I think 8 yeah they're just 8s in plugs and you can see that this loop bar it goes faster and then slower and that is because I modulated this knob the loop knob and this makes the loop faster or slower so if we go to the mod page again you can see that MSAG is um, controlling that loop so if we go to MSCG2, we can see that it plays uh, four bars, I think. And in the beginning, it's going to be faster. So here the loop is very fast, then it will slow down. 
and then we'll get to the normal um, in sync rhythm. <laughs> That is why it's uh, sounding like it's slowing down. Okay, and to make things even more complicated, I've um, put the mod make tricks on the, uh, the sorry, the mod mixer on the cutoff here for the LP format. And if we go to the mod mixer, we can see that we mix MSEG and LFO3, so both mo modulation sources with. Um, they said MSCG1. So we mix MSCG1 and LFO3 with MSCG3. So if we go to MSCG3, um, you see that here it's playing um, the LFO. So it's it's switching, it's mixing these two uh, modulation sources. So um, when this line is all the way up, it's going to LFO3. And when it's down, it's going to MSCG1. And if we look at LFO3, um, we see that over here. You see that that is not really modulating. That is just just sending the the maximum value all the time. So here you will just hear uh, no modulation basically. And then when this line is down, you will hear the um, which one was it? The MCG one. So that is just these plugs. And that is why you hear that. Um, or you can hear it, I think, when I play it. It just gives the third without the plugs. So um, we got that. And then I've used a second filter, just a normal low pass and put the um, mod mixer on that as well. And I go to all this, um, through all this effort and, uh, and all this uh, as a setup work to get rhythms that I wasn't expecting because that, that is the thing when you, I could just, uh, make my whole rhythm in MSCG one myself, but I I think I would never I would have never made this um, particular rhythm. And now you add a little bit of randomness, but sort of controlled randomness, and um, therefore you get things that you uh, like and and well that are that are more creative, and and you don't have to you don't really have to think about it. You just um, start messing with all these different rhythms in different uh, modulators and then eventually you'll get something that you like and then you can tweak it further so that is what I did in this case and now for example we can try the uh, sustain changing the sustain so that we get just these uh, envelope loop plugs as well <laughs> can make the envelope twice as fast by setting it to 25. Oh, this is also cool. Now we have a distorting envelope. do we got I did try an LFO um, G1 on the tuning I think that wasn't a big success not really um, but why I choose the chose the LFO G1 here is that you have two different types of LFOs in Zebra and I never understand why but the LFO um, G stands for global and that means that it's not necessary necessarily gonna trigger uh, every new note and you can trigger it on 
um, for example on 16 bars so then it's it's gonna re-loop the LFO on 16 bars so you can just make your whole melody and this one uh, listens to listens sort of to the whole song instead of to the incoming notes so that so that's pretty cool um, but it's not very useful on this sound and now we can mess with the settings a bit And I like the format filter uh, for this and I like the way that it changes the, the, the vowel sound. Um, we can try to modulate that with the um, mod mix instead of the LFO. on but there's a lot of cool stuff that you um, that you can do with this so um, enjoy and if you it's if it's not very clear just uh, send me a, a message and I'll explain it uh, a bit uh, in, in the next video a bit better or, or longer because it, it is kind of a um, it's, it is kind of a tricky uh, setup like this but the main thing um, what's happening here is that I modulate the uh, the loop with an with another MSCG, so this one is controlling the loop of this one, and that's the main thing. And the mod mix, um, you don't necessarily have to use that. You can you can also just use uh, more MSCGs. So yeah, I found with that, and I'll catch you next week.